I'm here with Cindy at the ANZ at Docklands Victoria. Cindy, please introduce yourself and the role of the ANZ. Yeah, so my name is Cindy He. I'm in the industry and innovation team at ANZ Transaction Banking. So in this team, I look at emerging technologies and trends that are disrupting the world of global trade and supply chains, as well as global payments and liquidity management. Right, well that's a great segue into today's event. Can you explain the overarching reason why ANZ was so keen to do this event with the CT? Yeah, of course. I mean, the theme of the event overall is trade digitization. What's going on? What else do we need to do? What do we need from government to make this happen? And that collaboration across industry between the public and the private sectors is so important. Having an event like this is able to bring lots of diverse people together to have a discussion and showcase that discussion to perhaps ANZ's customers, other businesses, who may not usually get access to stakeholders like this and the sort of speakers we're able to get. But today, we're able to give them a chance to hear directly from the regulators, from some of the top fintechs that are working to digitize trade, the sort of fintechs that are using AI and blockchain and really at the cutting edge. So it's an opportunity for everyone to learn from each other, yep. interact with the regulators, um, it's, it's just um, a good way also to connect and establish networks as well. Yeah, well I said to Peru, I mean the lineup of speakers of you guys have put together is phenomenal. It's great and really complimentary too because it actually creates a whole story arc about you know, where trade's coming from or where it's going to and how the digital journey is really, and AI and blockchain yes. are, are really starting to, to bite. And here in Australia, um, you know, I'm not sure if you agree, Cindy, but I see that you know, Australians are very much um, a, a few years behind with some of these discussions when it comes to Asia and Europe and the US. Yeah, I mean, that's also another reason why this event is so important. Mm. It's a chance to be um, honest with each other about the status of trade digitization in Australia and some of the case studies overseas in countries like Singapore, yeah. where we had actually had a speaker from Singapore yeah, today cool. sharing some insights. And some of those countries are moving very quickly. They are adopting a lot of new technologies. Yeah. And that's also something that everyone can take in and also learn from. Perhaps there are areas where we can move a bit faster in. There are areas where we need more regulatory maturity as well. So this is all very important knowledge and insights for, for all of us. Yeah, and as you said before, Cindy, a great opportunity to really get your customers up to speed and see what's going on, and also how you can support their growth and, you know, I suppose innovations in doing business globally as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now can be a challenging environment uh, for businesses. You know, we've got inflation, we've got a lot of geopolitical tensions and disruptions. So sometimes the last thing on their mind is, I'm going to invest in this fancy new AI platform that can help me digitize trade. But actually, when you look long term at the trends and what's going to happen, digitizing now will really give businesses an advantage. Yeah. And it's going to happen anyway. Right? It's a matter of time. Yeah. So this event is really helping to communicate that key message yeah. and help share the knowledge as well. Yeah. Because again, a lot of people are quite time poor. They may not have time to set aside and just follow a one hour lecture online, but giving them a chance to interact in person is totally different. And, and ask questions. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a much more fun, I would yeah. say. We've yeah. got some catering as well. Yeah. In person feels totally different. Um, so it's honestly, I'm very happy with the turnout and being able to provide this opportunity for everyone. Right, well congratulations Cindy. I know you've been pivotal with Hari here at the ANZ with a CT with uh, Brian and Peru to put all this together. And I'm sure there'll be future collaborations to continue as well. Yes, thank you very much and so happy that we had um, Ethical Trade Alliance and Import Export TV here today. Um, so thanks very much for your support. Our pleasure. Thanks, Cindy. Chat soon. Yep. Bye. Thank you.